decided to apply for NIMSI uh, because we wanted the opportunity and we truly believed that our students were capable of great things with the Advanced Placement Program. We looked at our results and the first year we only had 18 children to take the AP qualifying exam. With that exam, if a student receives a three, four, or five, they also get college credit. So there's really a, a strong benefit and also a very strong correlation to academic success at the post-secondary level if our children did well in AP. I never really took AP or even thought about taking AP. And so whenever they got the grant, I knew that I, I had more to me than just taking a regular class, so I thought, why not? My junior year, I took AP US History and AP Composition, and then this year, I took AP Biology and AP Literature. And AP US History wasn't covered by the grant, but my junior year, we took the State History Test, and because I was so prepared with the AP courses, I didn't miss any questions. I got all of them right on the, um, the State Test, and then with my AP test, I passed all of them, so. The teachers were very helpful because a lot of them, that was their first time teaching an AP class, so they were also kind of learning the way of the ropes and everything, so it was a lot easier to know that I wasn't the only one. It was always, I would tell people that, you know, you should take AP Physics if they were really good at physics, and, and I would get a certain number, and I'd, I'd turn some away and say, you know, it's going to be a real struggle for you, and you're, I don't think you're quite ready yet. And I changed that with this grant. Um, the, the mentality, I was convinced by the grant, the mentality was that if we let the students, even that aren't going to necessarily be successful, if we let them have the more rigorous coursework, that maybe even if they're not successful this time, they will be in college. Some real differences are that we are paying for the test and so also requiring the students to take the test. And that makes a big difference, I think. They're, they're planning to take the test at the end all year long, so they're kind of taking it a little more seriously, you know. And the teachers too. The teachers take it a little more seriously when they know their entire class is going to take the test rather than just their superstars. In the education profession, there's not been many extra bonus checks ever. You know, it's just this was something totally new. We, we're asked to do extra things all the time and new things and try this and try that, but this came along and it's like, oh, we're gonna give you a little check too at the end if you do well, you know, it's, it was a nice surprise. The larger number of AP students had an effect on campus with just knowing that there were more people being challenged. It's, it's a good thing when, when you have a lot of students trying to learn long-term instead of cramming for tomorrow's test. I think a higher standard uh, is important because students will rise to that higher standard and you know if we are challenging them then they're getting stronger and whenever they get stronger they get better prepared for life not just college but for life. Um, it meant a lot to me it kind of allowed me to find how much I could really push myself you know I do a lot of things other than school and so I learned how to juggle everything that I needed to do when I had a job, I did dance team, I was involved in a whole bunch of other extracurricular activities. And so being able to push myself with my education and still be able to do things that I enjoyed really meant a lot. And I, I learned a lot for, about myself just within these AP classes. It allowed me to push myself, but also gave me like friendships that I would, I would probably never have with people that I never thought I would. And so I think that's also great. A lot of people always kind of don't really see the things that go on in Mississippi and how great these things are. So it's great that we're actually getting the national recognition that we deserve. Because of our work with NIMSI and, and our AP uh, expansion and growth, we were invited to meet the Vice President. It was, it was an extreme honor to represent the state of Mississippi in, in such a powerful way. Um, so often when we're talked about as a state in terms of academics, it's always a conversation around the bottom of the tier. And to be at the top and to be the number one um, high school in terms of growth on AP was phenomenal. Building the excitement around academics is something that I would really hope that we can 
start um, really trying to work on in the state of Mississippi. You know, we, we have academic pep rallies just like we have athletic pep rallies. And, and it has to be that focus that you can do both. The other part about Ocean Springs is that we are a highly competitive environment. So our students, if they see another student trying AP, just like football or basketball or anything else, they're willing to try. And if, you, and if we have kids who are really willing to try, and we as adults provide the opportunities and the access for them, they can absolutely do the same things that our children have done here. I'm going to the University of Colorado Denver and I'm majoring in psychology and I eventually plan on getting my doctorate in neuropsychology and I plan on working with military families. This school and the people in this school and the way that they guided me through my education and my, my 12 years here, they have taught me that I can do whatever I put my mind to and that's really important to me.